Yeah, no, so here at the, the Virginia Maryland College of Veterinary Medicine, we've decided to open or offer an advanced fair certificate program through the Virginia Tech's Continuing Professional Education uh, program. Um, it's designed to be a year-long program for two students starting in July and two students starting in January to where they're kind of stair-stepped. So, um, you know, there will be people here of uh, one skill set and then another skill set to where they can kind of help teach each other. Again, it's uh, a program that will be tailor-made to that specific individual. Um, it's designed or original uh, brain concept or, or impetus for creation would be to fill a niche for those uh, individuals, those farriers who hope to uh, further their, their knowledge or their experience or prep themselves to have jobs at large referral practices or vet schools or, or things of that nature. Um, obviously that's something I wanted to do and that option didn't really exist so we're creating that to hopefully help push the profession further and allow a pathway for those individuals to find training to prepare them for those jobs. During that time, during that year, uh, they will obviously spend time as a farrier aide, you know, obviously working with clinical service. They will have horses they're responsible for trimming and shoeing. Um, you know, we're very lucky that we take care of roughly 100 Virginia Tech owned horses uh, that we can uh, use for, for teaching purposes. Um, obviously the students will be exposed to what we see clinically. They'll also spend time in classrooms with, with vet students. You know, a lesser experienced person will probably spend more time one-on-one -on -one with myself and Dr. Pleasant to get them up to speed to be able to, to learn and gain the knowledge from that course and the other courses that they would participate in. Um, here they'll obviously be heavily exposed to the house officers, so the interns and resident vets. They will uh, be seeing cases with them. They'll be helping teach them and learn from them. Um, They'll have, obviously have a chance to, to watch the surgery service, the medicine service, uh, so they'll get to spend time on other blocks, even potentially in something like radiology to, to get exposure to everything that occurs in a, in a practice like this. Um, so hopefully, again, you know, just preparing them for those jobs or those positions in the future.